Here at Gorilla Gaming, we're well known for our high-end gaming PCs, but we also specialize in workstations, and this is a prime example, even though it's got <laughs> tons of RGB. So if you don't know what this is, it's the Ice Giant Pro Siphon Elite. Um, you may have seen this on Linus Tech Tips, he's done a few videos on it, um, and basically on Threadripper, it's one of the best CPU coolers you can get, um, outside of custom loops. We're gonna be taking the plain black fans off, and we're gonna be using the Cooler Master MF120s, um, as they've got loads of RGB, uh, which fits perfectly with a nice workstation. The board's gonna be the ROG Zenith 2 Extreme, uh, because it's the most overkill motherboard you can buy right now. Um, and it's shiny, so that's extra points. So the CPU we're gonna be using today is the Threadripper 3970X. It's not the top of the line 3990X, but it's still got 32 cores and 64 threads, which is still class leaning when it comes to performance and all kinds of productivity benchmarks. And we're gonna be pairing it with 256 gig of Corsair Vengeance LPX at 3200 megahertz. So now we can open two tabs in Google Chrome. So we're gonna be using a two terabyte XPG S70 SSD. So we've got boatloads of roughly around 7,000 megabytes a second storage. To go along with the NVMe drive, we're going to be adding an 8 terabyte Samsung SSD, just in case he wants to play Warzone. We're going to be using the O11XL from Lian Lee for its great airflow and loads of space. It's got just enough space to contain the mighty ice giant. And of course, it wouldn't be a proper workstation without the RGB on the RTX 3090 Strix from Asus. The customer is planning on adding a second GPU in the near future, so we need a nice beefy power supply, so the 1650 watt unit from Silverstone might just about do it. And now, let's skip to the montage. 